Hi there everybody, uh, welcome to this video. This is a Quantum Game Uploads. So what I wanted to speak to you about in this video is uh, Wasm and a Sim Update 12 that we got uh, yesterday. So what did it do for Xbox? And uh, my experience with it overall. I'm going to show you a couple of uh, things from the release notes. But I'm not going to talk over them. So you can read them yourself or you can just go to their website and check it out. But I'm just going to show you the main things. So the release notes is a 1.31.22.0. A few big things on a Sim Update 12, of course, is uh, Wasm. That's the main thing on Xbox. That was a big thing. Everybody waited for that. And this thing here as well on the general. Uh, several crashes have been fixed across the title. Uh, the bug, the purchase bug, of course, that's been sorted. Glad to see that. And uh, this one as well. They fixed those uh, freezes during the, when you were booting the sim. I'm glad that's sorted. So they updated uh, quite a few things, like uh, with navigation and traffic. Of course, with the weather as well. They fixed quite a few things with the clouds, how they would show. Uh, bush trips and all that. Uh, glass cockpits like Garmin G3000, 5000. They fixed uh, lots of things about that, as you can see on the screen. G1000, this is mainly for the uh, legacy. Lots of things, a BFR map, uh, general fixes with the uh, aircraft. So lots of things there, as you can see. I'm happy to see all these uh, things being dealt with. Helicopters, of course, helicopters. Some people struggle with the helicopters, so I'm so glad they're sorting these things out as well. So added an uh, engine trimmer. That's great. Uh, let's see what else they've done. Fix the tail rotor increment for better controllability with gamepad. Great. That's great. That's what we wanted. So I'm going to try the helicopters and see how they behave. But I'm really happy. And they're done. They updated so many things uh, with the uh, Airbus 310 300. Mainly the sound for me. The sound for me was a big thing. Now it's more tamer. It doesn't it doesn't shout. It doesn't blow your ears out now. It's more tamer. It's how it should sound. In my opinion. I could be wrong, but uh it felt really great when I floated last night. So lots of things as you can see, this is a big list for the Airbus. And the Bell 407. I'm so glad this got updated. So I'm just going to try this as well. Lots of things have been updated with the Bell 407, as you can see. Really happy about that. Boeing 747. With the speed brakes. And Google Carby G2. That's uh, the helicopter, of course. I love this helicopter. The Chesna 172. Uh, Chesna Citation CJ4. Lots of things, as you can see, have been updated with that. With the Chesna. Uh, Chesna Citation Longitude for well, the Jenny, of course. The Dart TMB 930, lots of updates with that. Dark Star DG 100, and of course, Douglas DC 3. Look how many things updated with that. Uh, the Grumman G21 Goose. Lots of things. Hercules. LS8. The Ryan. Right Flyer. And the world itself. This is a fixed uh, statue of Liberty standing in water. That's cool. Have to check that out. Uh, the airports, of course. World Update Japan. World Update USA. Uh, world Update 3. We'll update four, so uh, they all seem to updated all of these. I had the I had the beta, so I didn't I didn't need to update all of these, which is cool. Saved me a bit of time. So they fixed all of these, all the world updates. That's great. Lots of stuff, lots of stuff. 
So all the versions, it picks all the versions. A Maverick, peripherals. So yeah, I think that's uh, the dev mode as well. Seems to have changed lots of things in the dev mode. Aircraft editor. I think that's uh, I think that's it. Of course, Wasm was a big thing. But we're gonna talk about that. Let me just go to the game itself, the sim itself. So let's see. Let me just go to the sim itself and show you. So the release is on the sim. As you know, we got the Antonov AN2 and the Antonov AN225. Antonov AN2 for me was an amazing release. I didn't expect this aircraft to be so good, and it is. Sounds great, flies great. Uh, everything about it seems, and everything about it seems to be correct. Uh, and of course, the cockpit. That cockpit is one of the best cockpits I've seen in the sim so far. For an older plane like this to have that sort of cockpit. Now that's beautiful. It deserves 5, five out of 5. This aircraft. 4.9 is not bad, but 5 out of 5 would have been even better. I'm glad so many people got it. Like 77 so far. So that's... That uh, showed interest to even put a review on it. So probably more people got it. But that's great to see. Antonov 225, of course, it was performing great on Series X. Beautiful aircraft, uh, no stutter. And a great thing, uh, the cockpit was in English, so they worked on it. I'm happy about that. So what else? Uh, I tried a few planes, like the 777s. So on the 777s, the wing flex uh, got fixed on the... A310, the sound has been updated. And the DC-6, the Douglas DC-6. I already had that uh, aircraft. I didn't delete it from my Series S, so I tried it on my Series S. And it works fine. I'm surprised about that, that it works correctly. It's great. I cannot show it, because it's not officially out yet. But uh, I can confirm that it works great with after Wasm. So I'm really happy about that. Wasm did uh, lots of uh, great things about the sim. These planes are performing so much better now. Even even the sim itself is performing so much better on the Series X. It's just great. I'm really happy about that. Really happy that the sim got the Wasm. And everything is going to move forward. Lots of aircrafts are going to come. Lots of these aircraft are going to come. But you, get, you have to give it a bit of time. These planes are not going to come... Like, uh, as soon as. Just give it a bit of time until they put it in the marketplace. Because we cannot have all aircraft at once. It won't make sense. I otherwise, we're not going to have a marketplace update anymore. So they got to bring things gradually. And for you to save money as well. Because you cannot afford all of these. Like the DS6. You cannot afford all these. These are expensive. 1499 3349 but uh, the main thing, I hope, for the sim, I don't want to see things like this. They're not good for the sim. So we'd rather see great things, great aircraft for the sim. So let's, uh, let me see the airliners. Of course, many people uh, waited for the 737-700. Yesterday, it wasn't a marketplace update. Yesterday, it was... Uh, Sim update and was on support. We didn't expect. I wasn't expecting other aircraft apart from uh, the ones we got, the Antonov AN225, because it's a local legends. That's what we we're supposed to get. This may come Thursday next week. Who knows? But hopefully it comes so everybody can fly it. And hopefully they put this on a sale on Xbox instead of uh, 60 quid. I hope they put it on sale like they did with other things. So at least you can buy it for 30. Same for this. It would be great if they make it like 30 quid at least. 
But don't worry, you're gonna we're gonna get everything time to time. Like uh, every week, every week, every week. Of course, the CRJs. So many people are waiting for this. But yeah, Wasm itself is working correctly. And you saw that with the Antonov. I mean, everything on it works perfect. Even the doors and everything that opens correctly, like just on PC. So that tells you that uh, it's working. Same for the DC6. That showed me that the Wasm is working correctly on Xbox. I'm really happy about that. So I think uh, I think that's what we wanted to see. So overall, I'm really happy. I cannot be any more happier. I'm really happy about the sim itself and the Xbox simmers. That finally we can get something that we can uh, look forward in the future and we can move on. The sim will become better and better. So let's see. Let's see from now on. Let's see on Thursday. Let's see what we get on Thursday. If not next week. But we're going to talk about it again. But I'm really happy that uh, the Osprey, of course, this may come this Thursday. Or maybe pushed by one week and next uh, Thursday. But any, anyhow, we're going to get it. Doesn't matter. We're going to get it. This is fun to fly. I mean, it's not It's not uh, the quality of this. I got to say, this uh, Antenna AN2 is a thing of beauty. I love flying it. The Osprey MV-22, super fun. It's modern. Sounds great. But uh, when it comes to detail, this is a winner right there. Even though I love that being like a helicopter. Sort of helicopter and kind of a mix between helicopter and a Harrier. But this is great. So yeah, really excited about the uh, Wasm. I'm really happy about everybody. Uh, don't worry. Things are going to be okay. Save that money. For greater aircraft in the future. So that's what I wanted to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. The one and only. One game uploads. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.